Hi guys, so um, whenever I got my package recently from Crafters Companion, the last haul, everything was great, everything was there, perfect. It was from like May 7th, so from this month. I was still waiting for one from April, and then a replacement items one. Remember when I ordered it, I think it was like the aqua tints or like the little jars of uh, ink. Um, I think I only got the paper, but I didn't get like the stamps and the ink, like the more expensive part of it, right? And then some other things were missing in that same order. This is an order from I don't even know when, but those things got replaced and then she had to send a replacement for the replacement because then those got misplaced. <laughs> so finally that one is here or something is here. Uh, today, Wednesday, it was a little bit late. Uh, people were saying sometimes things get held up in customs. This package I think was in New York for like a week before they released it. And then the other one that's coming on Friday was like in Chicago for a few days at some kind of port. So, or hub, should I say in that case. So I just want to show you this package because I just got it in and I'm like, oh, this poor thing. It did not rip open, but look at this. I mean, it has tons of, and you know, the opening is just going to open up here. So very interesting. I don't know what this is. Like I said, if this is the replacements or, you know, whatever. So I'm just going to pour this out. Oh gosh, I don't know what this is. There is a lot of stuff in here. Huh. Okay. This is just an order I placed. Yep. Hold on. Let me move my, yeah. So that's awesome. Great. So the replacements are on their way and hopefully everything's in there, but this is an order that I made. So it looks like. Hopefully everything's here. I'm going to bring this down here so I can kind of go through it in a way that's not a huge mess. Um, so I can see already on the top Annabelle Spensley stamps. These are not any of the ones that I had ordered from, what's her name? Um, what's her name? <laughs> HSN. So we have, I think there should be six here. I hope. Three. Okay, well, yep, okay. So these were super inexpensive. I mean, I paid just over $30 for all of them. So um, a couple of the designs I don't have. So the other ones I got from HSM were like mystic design, mystical designs. So we have Enjoy the Adventure, All Dressed Up. <laughs> this is cute. Oh, a little bear midriff there. We have Born to Shop, <laughs> um, Love You This Much, Lovely Lady, and birthday cheers so we have all these guys of course the colorways are things that like for me i like to use like tan or darker um, markers but these are all very um pretty much the same color here but the colorways as far as the hair are different so that's something you can kind of take inspiration from there and i usually go with darker and black hair so just for the uh the people that are in my life that i see most of um what do we have here uh, okay. Oh, a free Gemini double-sided die, which I already have. Uh, it says Dahlia. This is a different one. Where is it? We'll see. If that came in here, that's great. If it didn't come, big deal. Um, because, again, yeah, it's here. Uh, the Dahlia was free, which is really nice because, I mean, they charge a lot of the money for these guys. So that came free um, during that time. And then I picked up uh, the decoupage kit so I can... I didn't buy all the decoupage when they were on HSN. They had sold out later the peony and I love the peony. So what they did on Crafts Company, they brought back just the peony and the sunflower in a kit. So I thought that was great because I don't have either one of those and I got a pretty good uh, price for them. So I'm just trying to keep this receipt over here so I don't have my address sticking out. Um, so here is Radiant Sunflowers and the Peony Blooms, the dies for the stamps and the paper. So Peony Blooms, Radiant Sunflowers, and then the papers. And this was all together 50 bucks, which was, I know it sounds like a lot, obviously, but it was still less than HSM was offering for the two separate ones. I think they want 30 bucks for each one, plus the shipping and tax. So, you know, if I got a 50 bucks and I got it all, then that's a much better deal for me personally. Um, I did pick up some of these, what is this? Double-sided mandala. I think this is by itself. Let me see. Oh no, this is double sided die bundle, so there must be some other ones here. Oh, it was these two. I think it was only those two, to be honest. And the reason I got it is because uh, I never picked these up with the double sided, the sprigs and blossoms. I think they always want like $20 for it. And I'm like, it's not really something I really need to have. Um, and they're cute though. They do have the little buds and everything that are adorable that will go along with the rest of our, you know, dyes like that Dahlia one and stuff like that. So um, I paid basically 20 bucks for both of these and I don't have any of the floor mandala or the other designs like the butterfly and those kind of things that they have I never really picked those up so I was thought it was cool to get this one especially with the mandala easily cut you know a couple times so maybe I'll review those because I have not tried them especially the mandala that'd be fun Gemini, uh, Gemini elements tea party 
Okay, so here we are. Let's see. Ay, ay. Gemini Elements Dye Beautiful Bloom. Okay. Oh, okay. No wonder. These were buy one, get one something because this was $7.65 and the other one was only a penny. So that was like tea party, but I thought it was going to be a bundle. So this is the tea party set, which is pretty cute. Little thin dyes, you know, not too expensive. They're just like little things. And then the beautiful bloom. So it must have been one of those penny sales. So I got them. I don't have any of this kind, like the rainbow and the ones that they're always advertising whenever they uh, talk about these Gemini elements. But here they are. Hunky Dory Rosy Reflection Stamp Set. That must be this one. This is huge. I, <laughs> wow. Look at this. Did you guys? I didn't know because I have not ordered these before. But they kind of go with that Moonstone paper I have. Um, Blossom Lace, I guess. But I still don't have the dies, so I have to look into the dies. But this is ridiculously pretty and huge. So I got those from there. This is called Rosy Reflections again. Stamp set. Really, really big. So it's great for your focal point basically on your card and how cool oh my gosh if I had to watercolor these right with our markers Woo! that's a that's some work but I bet you it's gonna look awesome huh I might have to do that we will see um and then there's another cute little one uh hunky dory moonstone no that's this one no that's this one <laughs> um I think these were also buy one get one a penny yes so what happens is um this was 22 bucks, and this was also 22 bucks, but I got it for a penny. So basically I got both of these things for $11. And what I like about Crafters Companion, when they do things like that, the penny sales, is that they will give you the two highest things. Like, let's say, like, okay, these were only 6 or $7 each, right? But these are $22 each. Now, if you buy, usually at a store, if you buy one for, you know, the $22, they're going to give you the cheaper one for a penny, and then you're going to pay 22 for this one, and then this one for a penny, right? But they don't do that, and Sarah's talked about that before. She's like, I know, I know how people... She's like, no. So it's always the top two most expensive, one's going to be full price, the other one's going to be a penny. The next two expensive, a full price, a penny. The next two expensive, you know, going down. So I do love that they do that, and it should be that way. I, oh, it drives me nuts at stores when they do that. I'm like, okay, can we just separate it then? I'll buy these two, and then I'll buy these two. But obviously, when you're paying shipping, you can't really do that online as easily, right? So basically, I got these little letters for free. I mean, they were a penny. And so that was a great sale. So always, whenever they do the penny thing, just know that that's how they, they handle that one. Um... Oh, you know what? The Annabelle Spensley stamps came with another set of rock blocks I have probably 10 sets of rock blocks at this point. So um, again, this will go in D-Stash or maybe give away. We'll see. And then the last thing was just this little guy. So um, I just thought this was really cute. So supposedly you stamp this, you know, and then you can make your little pockets. And this one's called... Um, what is this one called? Paper Pockets by Woodware Craft Collection. Let me try this real quick. Let me see... Oh, and these are photopolymer, and I got them super cheap, you guys. Um, six bucks. But, again, those prices are with my discount, so yours might be different, right? Um, <laughs> I was like, do I have scrap paper? I have tons of scrap paper from when I made the mini album the other day. And then I'll wait to upload this video until I get the... Um, does one work? Eh. Until I get the um, package on Friday, so you guys will see this, even though today's Wednesday. Um, and let's do some brown. Sorry, I'm trying to look for... Well, we're going to use this water reactive. I don't want to. I wanted to use the quick dry, but that's okay. So let's just try this out. I just, I was curious because I thought, well, if I'm making mini albums or other cute things, this is kind of a cute thing to have. Pop it in there. Ooh, I almost dropped that. I'm going to put it right here on the edge so I don't have to cut too much. Cool. So this is the thing, like, you have to cut this out, right? It'd be kind of weird to put that on a piece of paper, like, on your page. So I think it's meant to be cut out. And then it has kind of like a deckel edge, so I'm just going to get close. But if you don't get too close, what you can do is just cut it and then just use your um, sponge tool, right, to kind of get in there and make it look a little more weathered. I'm kind of trying to follow the edges there. But that's what's weird about this one. It doesn't really make sense that, you know, this side, if you're going to use it as an actual pocket, you're not even going to see these other... Backsides, but it's nice that it's completed. And let me take a little piece off of here. Boop. And then I'm just going to fold it, but, you know, you can use your bone folder. So, again, water reactive. It's not quite dry yet. I don't want to rub my fingers across this. But how cute is that? Look at that. Oh, my gosh. And then you stick it on your page or wherever. 
and you have this really cute kind of decoration. Of course, you can do that with any stamp, any kind of background stamp or stamp that has, you know, like this kind of postal code or things, but I like that it's specifically made for this. And I guess this is why they still do the edge, because when you come around, it's still decorated real nicely. So cute! I was gonna say, where's my mini album? Oh, let me go. Let me grab it. So this is the one I worked on with the um, items from uh, my girl there, Melissa Francis. And then you can put these in here. <gasps> oh my gosh, look at that. Adorable, I'm gonna keep this here. Actually, I'll probably tuck that in there. Go ahead and glue it down. Um, yeah, so let's wait for the other items uh, to come uh, for Friday. Okay guys, so change of plans, this is weird. Um, <laughs> The item that's supposed to be here today still got held up. So uh, right now my doorbell rang and my husband came to the door. Yay! He saw this big old box. <laughs> it's the Crafters Companion Gemini Wheelie Bag. And if you guys remember, that's supposed to have like a bundle with it. So it looks like it's been opened. So I think what they did is obviously put in the things. This is from the first, the California warehouse sale, right? And then tomorrow, so I'm going to go ahead and do this video because I want you guys to see this because tomorrow they're having the UK warehouse sale and I don't know, actually the deals are already up and going right now if you want to check it out. But things sell out, they bring more stuff. I mean, they just have a bunch of stuff to get rid of, right? So I don't think I'm going to buy anything from the UK warehouse because I bought probably four or five orders from the California one even though I said I wasn't going to get anything. But supposedly there are, um, there's a mystery bundle in here. So I'm going to open this up. Um, just out here. Why not? I mean, you hear the birds. Eh, you know. Alright, let me get this tripod set up so we can see what's okay, in here. I don't know exactly what all is in here. I just assumed it's a wheelie bag because that's what it says on the box. But there's more than that in here, so let me see. Definitely got a wheelie bag in here. Hopefully you guys can see that still. Okay. And... Let me take everything out and then I'll look at the, um, I don't know what this is, just some scraps. <laughs> okay, so everything is out of here, other than those little papers. And hopefully you guys don't mind sitting outside with me for a minute. I told my husband, because my daughter's watching a movie, and I was like, you know what, I need to do this right now because it's very important that we see, um, what we're getting and that way maybe you'll be interested in the UK sale I don't know um my daughter's a little chalk there so let me close up a little bit and let's see what's in here supposedly we have our wares house clearance mystery bag I don't see a mystery bag but um there's a box here we'll check it out Gemini wheelie bag with bonus products crafters companion frosted white and frosted okay so that for sure is this the frosted white pearl card. And I picked up more because when I did that, uh, this is the one I wanted. See how it says frosted white? Um, this is the one I wanted for my uh, Local King rubber stamps because when I stamped on it, it worked so well. But the one I had had like a hint of gold, another one had a hint of silver. So this is just all white, pearl white. And bisque, I think I ordered another set because it had sold out, but I grabbed another set. So hopefully that comes in soon. I just saw the email from Sarah too saying that they're just now sending out stuff, but I live an hour away from the warehouse, so it makes sense that it's got here pretty quickly. Um, Gemini Edgeables Metal Dyes. Of course, my friendly neighbors pull up and chat with each other, <laughs> telling each other to stay safe, which is nice. Um, okay, we have uh, Edwardian Rose, uh, Heartfelt Wishes, and Butterfly Lace. These were just an amazing price. I think that I have this one. I'm not sure if I have these two, but again, it's possible I do. So they're, you know, giveaway material. They're de-stash material, we'll see. Uh, rustic Cottage Paper Pad right here. Perfect. Um, Spectrum Noir, the paper pad was only three bucks. A Spectrum Noir Sparkle Bundle Box. Now, I don't see a bundle box here, but these are Spectrum Noir Sparkle Pens, and basically that was 20 bucks. So it's still kind of high for these four uh, packs. I mean, obviously the way they sell them, this is a better price, but I've paid less for this kind of thing before. I didn't know what they were gonna send because, you know, you don't know. So yeah, so this must be the clearance mystery bag A. It says mystery bag A right on there. So let's open this up. I don't know how I'm gonna open it. I don't have anything sharp out here. I'm at the pick of this tape. Honestly, I live in a cul-de-sac and you think like nobody would come by here. There's only like, oh, what is it? Four, nine houses? Hold on. One, two, no, I'm lying, 12 houses. I never really counted. I just know mine's the certain number in. But these people love to come and go. All right. Oh, this is good. I mean, 
it looks good to me already. <laughs> so let's see in here. Oopsie. All right. This was only, I think, 20 bucks with my discount. So this is really pretty. Now I have pretty much all of their stamp and dies, these kind of things from HSN, but I don't remember this butterfly one. Again, when they would come in though, I would just take them and put them away, didn't even look at them. I don't think I ever even reviewed them for you guys. So we have the butterflies one. I know I don't have this, get well soon, a stamp set. Mix and match the way you write things out. And that's nice, I like this kind of thing. I just ordered something like this from a company called Elizabeth Crafts, which I used to see at the expos and they're really sweet. It's an older lady and she has just gorgeous designs. Something like this, but they were much bigger, like big enough to make a card, like boom, you know, the front of your card. So I'll try this out with that kind of style. We have Thinking of You and From Me to You uh, create a card. I don't know that I have this one. I know I have a bunch of square ones that insert into cards, so I'll have to check that out. That's cool. I'll say this looks like something I don't have. I've never seen this before. Floral Delight, three metal dies. So in my opinion, the stuff that they had in their California warehouse is probably things from HSN that, you know, they didn't sell completely or something, because that's what I would imagine. I do have So Lovely. I don't think I have this particular um, embossing folder because uh, the way I bought it was like a smaller set, I believe. So I've never seen this before. I know I haven't seen it. I would remember that because it's like a quilt. Really cute. Metal charms, you can never have too many of these. So even if I have these, this still comes in handy. Um, card bases, square card bases. They look like six inch square. Um, and yeah, just a plain card base. Ooh, this is good right here. The hand lettering decor pad. This is good, you guys. I'm really excited about this one. Oh my gosh, okay, that what? is pretty loud. But I just want to get this done, you guys. I want you guys to see what's in here. This is pretty cool. Um, and this one's hand lettering decor pad, but it's different from the outside. So I'm assuming they have different things. This is kind of fun. I've never seen this. I do have some of their hand lettering pens and stuff. When I bought it as a bundle on HSN, I never used it. But um, I don't think I have those. So wheelie bag. Okay, I've always been interested in the wheelie bag. I just didn't, wasn't interested in the price that they had for it. So for this, with my discount, I think I got it for 80 bucks. By the way, if you haven't used the Crafty 10, C-R-A-F-T-Y 1-0 uh, discount, you can use it on these things, okay? you can. It's one time use, I think, until June, mid-June, or I don't remember. But let's see this guy. It's in good shape, so it's not like busted up or anything. Again, it matches all those cute things that we've gotten from Crafters Companion, little bags and like the Christmas bag they sent out to Platinum members and um, has some nice pockets, zippers. Uh, you know, it's not really a review of this thing, but really great. It holds your Gemini. You know, I have my Gemini on my table, which I hardly ever use it, but maybe I should store it in here. I don't know. But if I store it in here, I will never use it. <laughs> Let me open this up. And it's supposed to be full of some fun things. So let's see what's in here. Again, this is kind of an area that you put in here so you can put more things on top of it. But let me put that to the side. And let's start grabbing stuff. This is an amazing deal right here. Okay, so Summer Garden. I know I don't have this because I've seen things like this. And I don't like buying them. But you know what? Now that I do that little watercolor effect with like uh, the AI stamps, I think this would be really great for that. So we have that. Another embossing folder. I just literally just got this in uh, the, the earlier frame that we filmed. Um, so definitely going to go de stash. I do not have this. I don't even know what this is. Stamps by Chloe. It looks like it makes like an inlay in your cards. That's pretty cute though for the background. Kind of something fun. So I have a lot of their nesting guys. I don't know if I have this torn edge rectangle two. I think I have everything that's two. The two because they have squares and ovals and whatever two. So I think I already have all the two set. This one, Perfect Posy. I know I have some of their layering stamps, but I don't remember having floral ones like this because I don't really go for that anymore because I have so many. So this is nice because I do not have that. You can never have too many color blends unless you have too many, but this is great. Um, cause these are the pencils. Um, I have more of the aqua blends, so um, that comes in handy. Another base cards. I don't know how they have so many loose base cards, but that's kind of weird. Um, clear acrylic stamp set called Spread Your Wings really cute i don't think i have that i'm so crafty i sweat glitter i do have this stamp and it's very cute um i do not have this because i don't really purchase i bought the christmas ones of these and i reviewed them for you guys but other than that i don't know what to do with these cards because it's a uh, cut and emboss and it cuts that but then what do you do so something like what they're showing you here just add a little something and that's your card basically um authentic hessian out to autumn morning i've never seen this contains 15 sheets it looks like burlap pieces, I guess. This is interesting. I have never seen this before in my life. 
But I wish I had more of that autumn morning because I never bought anything autumn morning. Premium black paper pad. This is amazing stuff. Good stuff. Nice and thick and it's for your like metallic pens and all that. Here's my autumn morning paper. Hey, like I said, I don't have anything autumn morning. So that's cool. It's very thin kind of like layering paper. Maybe scrapbook because, you know, you can just build up your pages on that. Very, very autumn. And does something else fall out? No. So the last thing that's in here is this, and I already know what this is, and I already have this. It is the, um, so they guaranteed you that every bag was gonna have the wheelie bag and a guillotine, the small guillotine. So I have another small guillotine here. Again, maybe good for giveaway, maybe good for de-stash. I don't know what's going on. Soon, again, all the pockets and everything. Really cool. So I did want to get this shown to you guys so that you know kind of what to expect. That was one order. I think I placed three or four more that were only like $30, $40 at a time. So um, so those will be coming in soon, I suppose. I never even got a shipping notice about this stuff. So everything's here. Again, if <laughs> the Cali people, they're on it. So that's great. Uh, okay, guys. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and post this so you can kind of see what's going on. I will post the other ones as they come in. And, um, and uh, yeah, so have a great day, guys. And if you're interested in that sale, it's going to come up. It's already up if you go to the uh, website. But I think tomorrow on Sunday, uh, the 20th. No, not tomorrow. That Yeah, that'd be, I keep thinking today's Saturday because my husband has a four-day weekend. Um, okay, so it's on Sunday. They're going to have the show for the UK warehouse sale, but the deals are already there. So you can go check it out. All right, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all at the next one. Bye now.